Hello and welcome to the Cornwall Reports news briefing for Thursday the 23rd of March. The local media headlines today. So there is just one week to go before the mayoral consultation which took months to organise, months to carry out and more than a month to interpret is finally published. Of course nothing to see here, this is all perfectly normal. But what has not yet made it into any official Cornwall Council document is that we're probably going to have to do it all again in a purely advisory capacity in the hope that we get the answer right next time. How might Camelford get a bypass without spending £73 million? Pounds? Well, one answer might be to reclassify the existing B3266. You could call it the Atlantic Superhighway. It's really only a country lane, but many locals use it already. We learnt a useful lesson at County Hall yesterday Budgets are not set in stone. Virgin Orbit has told most of its staff to stay at home until Monday as the search for a sweetheart investor continues. But what's this? A rich man from Texas. Well, maybe. It'll all be happening this weekend. Pirate FM had an intriguing story about a case of mad cow disease on a farm in Cornwall. Apparently the animal died on the farm and didn't enter the food chain, but the question of what caused it will keep scientists busy until they find an answer. The Falmouth packet noted the purchase of Redruth's former library for community use. The BBC is encouraging the hopes of Cornwall's Olympic rowing champion Helen Glover for next year's competition. And if you care about Gordon Ramsay, there's always more in Cornwall Live. And those are the local media headlines for now. Thank you very much for watching. Please share this video on social media. I'll be back again tomorrow. See you then. Bye bye.